Background music is one of the most essential elements to include in any explainer video because it guides the emotion of the audience. For example, when Simba discovered that his father had died, the audience felt sad. This scene is very touching because the audience not only sympathized with Simba's loss, but because the producers carefully included a sad piece of music that further intensified that emotion. You can be able to use this technique in your explainer video by simply adding background music that will excite your customers to know about the benefits of your product or service. Alright, the first thing you need to do is go to Animaker.com. You need to log in into your Animaker account. After you've already logged in, I want you to click the Launch Now button. Once you do that, I want you to click the How to Explain Your Product template. Once you click on it, you'll let the project load. You have currently loaded an explainer video. Now in this explainer video, it has some music. You can preview it by clicking the preview button. As you're previewing the video, you'll notice that it has some background music. Now obviously, for this demonstration, I'm going to change it. So in order to do that, I'll need to exit out of the video. Then I'll need to click the music icon. You'll find it on the right side of your screen. I want you to click on it. Okay, the next thing you need to do is click the BGM icon, the, which means background music. Once you click on it, you can scroll down and select whichever background music you want. If you find one that you really like, you can click on it in order to preview it. Once you preview the one that you want, You'll need to scroll down to the Animaker timeline. Click on the music icon that is located in the Animaker timeline. Go and drag the Happy Summer background music into the timeline. Once you've dragged it in into the timeline, you'll need to click the Inspiration's Morning Song and you'll need to delete it out because you want to focus on the Happy Summer Song. So you delete that out and now you can just preview the video. You will notice that the Happy Summer background music is 0.25 seconds and the original explainer video is much longer than that. So another thing that you need to consider is making sure that your video, your background music fits your explainer video. So in order to add more to it, you'll need to find where this Happy Summer song ends. So what I like to do is I like to scroll through the scenes just like this. And I can see that it, the end is right there at, the, uh, at scene 5. You'll see the end of it. So you can either add the same piece of music or you can drag another one in. For this example, since I like this music so much, I'm just going to drag it in here. Now that I've dragged another copy of the Happy Summer background music into the timeline, it means that this song will repeat twice. So it will last for about 50 seconds. You just want to make sure that your the background music matches the length of your explainer video. That's basically the key concept. Since you already know how to do that, let's move on to another way to add music into your explainer video. Now this method would mean that you don't like the music that's already in Animaker. So there's this other site called Incompetech.com by Kevin McLeod. They have lots of great content, lots of great music that you can use into your explainer video. So let's check it out. So what you need to do is type in incompetech.com, I-N-C-O-M-P-E-T-E-C-H. Once you do that, click enter, and you'll see a screen uh, where it talks about getting started with music. I want you to click on that. Now this person named Kevin McLeod allows anyone to use his music as long as they credit him for it. So if you choose to use this music in your explainer video, it's always important to credit the, uh, it's always important to credit the author. And I'll show you later on how to exactly do that. So don't worry about it. Okay, you have different genres of music on this site. You have disco and lounge, disco lounge, funk and blues. Um, you have tons of stuff. Let's check out the comedic genre. Okay. In order to preview any song, you need to click the Listen button. 
So for this example, I'm going to click on the quirky dog background music. Once you've previewed the song and you like it, then you need to click the download button. Now I want to clarify, it's important to click the, the more button because it shows you exactly how to credit the author. You put in, you copy and paste this. Once you do, you can be able to use it. It's that simple. Now for this, I've already, I've already downloaded the music. So now we're going to go back to Animaker and import it into the Animaker project. In order to upload the background music into your Animaker project, you'll need to click the upload button. You'll find it on the right side of your screen. Click on it. Once you do, you'll see three different icons. You'll see an image icon, a sound icon, and a voiceover icon. Click on the sound icon. Then you'll need to click the upload button. You'll need to upload the music that you downloaded from incompetech.com. Once you upload it into your Animaker project, you'll need to save it under the category Background Music. Once you do that, it'll appear on the Background Music tab. Now the next step is to click on Scene 1 in the timeline. The reason why you're doing this first is because you want to make sure you place your music at the beginning of your explainer video. So once you've done that, drag the song title Quirky Dog into the timeline. The next step is to delete the previous song that we put called Happy Summer. So take it and now click the garbage button, the delete button. And now we want to preview the animation, so click the preview button. And when you do, you'll be able to hear the new background music you put into your project. You have learned how to upload any background music into your explainer video. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you want more tutorials like this, we encourage you to check out our site, animakertips.com.